Now I'm going to show you some mental math methods. I need to use mental math when I have to compute without pencil and paper or a calculator. In other words, in my head. Sometimes if numbers end in a zero digit or several zero digits, it's very simple to do. And you just have to add one or two digits. But in the case of a number, 758 plus another number 182 that has several digits and would require regrouping I'm going to use the break apart method which means I have to use place value I know that these are three digit numbers so they have hundreds tens and ones digits the top number has a seven in the hundreds place which is worth a value of 700 and it has a one in its hundreds digit so I will add seven hundreds plus one hundred to get eight hundred. Next I will move on to the tens place. I have five tens which is fifty plus eight tens which is eighty. Fifty plus eighty equals one hundred thirty. And notice how I'm lining up my digits so it will be easier to add and find a sum later. Finally I'll be adding my ones digits. Eight ones plus two ones is equal to eight plus two for a sum of 10. Finally, I'll add these together and get 940. Simply because they end in 0, 800, 130, and 10, I can easily just add my second digits, which tens place, moving from the right to left. 3 plus 1 is 4, and hundreds. 8 plus 1 is 900. If I were to regroup, I could check my work and show you that I'm correct. 8 plus 2 is 10. Put down the 0, regroup the 1. 5 tens plus 1 ten is 6 tens plus 8 is 14 tens. Put down my 4, regroup my 1. 100 plus 700 plus 100 is 940. As you can see, I've gotten the sum in both ways. Next, I'm going to show you compensation. The reason why compensation works in a problem such as this is that I can look at the 8 and 2 and realize I can make a 10. And as we know, adding zeros makes it easier to use mental math. So I'm going to break apart the number 182 into 2 and 180. And I will be adding these to make 760. And then I will continue to add what's left, which is 180. And here's my new problem which is much easier to do in my head because like I said, they end in zeros. Zero plus zero is zero. Six plus eight is 14. I would put down a four and regroup a one, but in my head, no need to regroup. Seven plus one plus one is four, or is nine. So I have a sum of 940. I've done it. So I can do this problem in three ways. Only these two are mental math, and this one would be pencil and paper. Now let's take a look at what mental math looks like when you're using subtraction. I have a problem of 98 minus 15, and I'm going to break apart, but in this case I won't use place value necessarily, not in a chart anyway. I'm going to break apart the 15 into 10 and 5. It's much easier for me to, to subtract 98 minus 10. As you can see, here they are. And I will get a difference of 88. But I'm not done yet. I still have five more to subtract. I know it's much easier to subtract this in my head, so I will end up with a difference of 83. Now let's just check with regrouping to see if I'm right. 8 minus 5 is 3. 9 minus 1 is 8. I've done it. I've regrouped and I've done it using break apart method for mental math. Now let's try compensation. Here's another problem, 172 minus 58. Well I know that it's easier to subtract 60 in my head than 58. So what I have to do is take away two more because 58 is two away from 60 and it's taking away two more. So I'm going to change this problem to 172 minus 60 because in my head subtracting 2 minus 0 is much easier than subtracting 2 minus 8. And I know that 2 minus 0 is 2 and in my tens column 7 tens minus 6 tens is 1 ten. 100 minus 0 hundreds is 1. So I'm left with a difference of 112. 
but I'm not done yet because I took away two too many and now I have to give them back. My answer will be 112 plus 2, which is 114. Let's see if I get it correct with regrouping. I can't subtract two, 8 from 2, so I have to borrow. I'm going to borrow 110, which will give me 6 tens. And I will bring over 10 tens plus the two tens I already, or two ones I already have, and I get a 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. I've gotten the same answer using regrouping and compensation. Only compensation is easier to do in my head, just like the break apart method. I hope this has been helpful for you.